Good morning and welcome to St. Peter's Grounds for the Division 1 Tier B quarter final between Ananda College and St. Anthony's College Vatala. You can see the Ananda College team on your screen, led by Savidu, Saviru Bandara, Lakshita Kularatna, the wicket keeper. And see the Anthony's College team led by Avishka Tarindu, Kavisha Dulanjan, Romesh Suranga, Dilip Niroshan Fernando, Gian Satmika, Kanishka Gimhan, Sandun Madushka, Abdul Rao. So the two teams will be led Ananda by Saviru Bandara and St. Anthony's by Avishka Tarindu. The news from out there is Ananda won the toss and elected to bowl first. The two umpires for the match today, Satchadit Vitarana and Janaka Vijaytunga, will be the on-field umpires. It will be interesting to see what the Ananda tactics will be after winning the toss. They will need to get some early wickets. Tian Pereira to open the attack from Father Joe Vikrama Singh Pavilion in. This match been brought to you live by the batsman.com. Beautiful ground at St. Peter's. Nice greened outfield. Bit of grass on the track, so maybe that was the reason uh, Anand decided to bowl first. So see the left arm fast bowler will be bowling to Gyan Satmika 19 years played 5 matches 185 runs with 64 as his highest and then other open is Romesh Suranga so starts off with a wide very lucky that that keeper got to that but that would have been additional four runs added to the total but need to get his line and length right from the start because this is a 50 over game and you wouldn't want to be giving any free runs to the opposition and that one getting some swing but there again outside the off stump and that's also called a wide and not a good start here by the opening bowler Tehan Pereira And Satmika has not had much to do. That's much better the first legal delivery. Slightly short of length. That's one going on the back foot. Playing it to the extra cover region. You can 
see Romesh uh, Suranga also a left hand bat so Antonians opening with two left handers you can see Romesh Suranga batting outside his crease and that's another wide so four deliveries bold in this over but only one legal delivery this score has moved down to three and this is going to hurt the Ananda College uh, team have to bowl extra overs extra balls at least and extra runs also been added to the score much better back up the length again that's exactly the area where he should be looking to bowl make the batsman play and get those slips in play early morning you can see that going with two slips Ideally, I would like to see at least another gully in with the ball swinging. Well left out of the off stump. It would be easy for the bowlers with two left-handers at the crease. Two slips. A point, extra cover. And a mid-off on the together with the third man on the off on the leg we have a fine leg a mid wicket and a mid on as the field that they are in the cover region it is interesting to note uh, the mid wicket they prefer to go with just two slips whereas the ball is moving around so might want to see another slip in there attack from the start and like I said but controlled shot running it down to where the third slip would have been the third man comes around and cuts it so just one run there hot and humid uh, morning here at Bumbla Pit here, the venue for this quarter final in the tier B nicely left and that's the end of the first over 4 for none Pedarua, Jati Kandam, New Jenaker, and the Krida Kikukaranata, seen the Takin at the Bopiani, in the Asia Vishalutama, Krida Bound Pradashana Karea, Borale, the Chan Sports with it, Vasaraka Vagakima, Adam Pianaganda, the Chan Sports Borella.
the new bowler from the canal end would be Netma Samaravira right arm fast bowler and like his partner starts off with a wide down the leg side they will need to get their act together just can't be bowling extra balls and giving away extra runs as well And foolish driven nicely because on the pads and the best one are back for two nice bit of slide by the fielder there good bit of fielding ground a bit heavy with the overnight rain so the best one will have to keep running don't need to look at what whether the ball will cross the line just keep running till it crosses the line run the pads loud shout there leg stump and Satmika to go for one of the biggest drives not you have to be a bit careful watch what the ball is doing Pitched on leg and moving further away. Another wide. So quite a lot of extras to start with. Just over bringing three wides. The second row already has two. Once again, play to that uh, through the ca gap between mid wicket and mid on for another two. So the runs also coming. Score moves on to ten. around can a good diving stop there at fine leg restricting it to just two runs well bit of an interesting field here in the second over another winning the toss and letting the ball first now just going with one slip that is a bit of a worry in the offside they have one slip the third man a cover point Extra covers and a mid off. And on the leg side, it's a mid on, a mid wicket, square leg, and a fine leg. So, well spread out field in the second door. We've not seen the Antonian batsman going for any big hits. But this is. 
think the wives have created a bit of doubt in the anand the captain's mind again coming into the left hand and after two overs sir anthony is 12 for no wicket Dan Perella will continue. That's going to be tight. But very good running there. Two runs. The fine leg field uh, taking his time to get that ball in. And very good running by the two openers. Ramesh Suranga coming back. That's the first delivery that has been bowled on line, on target. And immediately you see the Antonian batsman playing at it. Nicely driven through the gap between cover and extra cover, and the batsman completed another two. Outside the off-stump, left alone. Oh, the Antonian opener has not been troubled as yet, apart from that one delivery which Dehan Pereira bowled. Apart from that, it has been a bit wavered with the new ball. Seems that he's getting his rhythm, the length, the line back. That's what you want to do. Get the opener driving at it. And if he can hold that line, I'm sure that mid wicket can come into the gully region or to a third slip region. more like it after 3 16 for none
that one is whacked over the mid on fielder's head one bounce into the fence so the first boundary for St. Anthony's Watal has come in the fourth over Satmika going over the field. You can see that Midon has dropped down to the line. The fine leg has come up to the circle because there are only two fielders will be allowed outside the 30th circle in the first 10 overs. Two dot balls. So Netma bringing it back. And Gian also doesn't show it. Not in any hurry. Sign of good batsmanship. Needs to just knock it around for singles now. Got the boundary in the first ball. to the third man region for a single big gap there between the first tip and the point fielder Ian Sasmika moving on to 12 of just 15 deliveries and Romain Suranga 4 from 7 will take strike it was going lucky not to get a touch then pushed a little wide out uh, so the off stump and left alone so after four hours, St. Anthony is uh, 21 for Novikat. We'll take a look at the most runs in this uh, Tier B tournament. Pawan Sandesh, 306 from Devapati Raja. Dinura Bevikrama, St. Servatius, 288. Kavishita Sanket, Mind the College Call, 268. Sandi Palangoda, St. Sylvester's, 241. And then Avish Katarin, the skipper of St. Anthony's College, was 229 of from five matches. Certainly, apart from one of those batsmen, all the others have got a century in whatever game they have played. Slips moving a bit wider. So Tian finally seems to be settling down now into his third over.
that one driven in there over the point fielder's head to uh, the third man region for a single incidentally you can view the batsman's uh, scorecards there's and they dated the player profiles points tables top players and actions and many more on the site the batsman.com will be interesting to look at those so that you will know the players better this pictures brought to you live by the batsman.com Yes, false stroke by Ramesh this time. Straight to the point fielder, no run. Nice one driven, but can't pierce the gap, just one run. And after five overs, it's 22 for no wicket. Here we can take a look at the batting card. Gian Satmika on 13 of 17 and Romesh Suranga on 5 of 13 so the two openers doing a good job that's the main thing they'll need to do just hang in there the wickets in hand towards the end is going to be very very vital There's a way to build your brand with the largest network during these matches, programs, events, interviews, website. You can contact the below mentioned numbers for advertising on the basement.com, which is very well uh, known for school cricket. And these pictures brought to you live. on the best one dot com also just another reminder any media units in the schools they can contact batsman dot com and have joint productions or even if they need to learn a few things on how 
to run a production i'm sure batsman is the place to learn it they'll be happy to uh, work with the the youngsters and guide them few schools media units uh, also telecasting some of their matches so it be a good guiding light if they can sit together with these uh, experienced uh, gentlemen here run cut off by the third man fielder just one run so now even anetma finding his uh, length finally out of the off stump seen just one boundary so far that of the bat of gian nice lead driven and equally well fielded by the bowler This one is driven nicely through the extra cover region, and that reaches the boundary. So the second boundary for Saint Anthony is coming in the sixth over. And that again of Netma Samravira. So Gian moves on to 17, 28 for no loss after six. And see the bowling card of Anand, Tian Pereira, bowl three overs, none for ten. net pa samara vida 3 overs none for 18 kal di run rate of 4.67 to start off with i'm sure the anand skipper may be a bit disappointed after winning the toss and inviting sen anthony is too bad first unable to get the breakthrough in the first 6 overs pretty hot out there as well so it's not going to be easy work still we see two slips in place not trying to over attack but i think at the start you need to attack a bit put the batting side under pressure ideally i would like to see that mid wicket coming into the slip region that's going to be close the mid on fielder had both sets of stumps to aim at and deciding to go to the striker's end and both the batsmen safely home again in there over the cover fielder ball dying once it hit the turf out field a bit slow the batsman complete two 
Mexico moving on to 31 now. A good start for St. Anthony's. They are not afraid to go over the infield. There we see, once again, going over the infield, over mid offset. That ball also slowing down. The fielder managing to pull it back. So two more runs to the total and two more runs to Gian Setmika. Power play very well. This one again over the extra car field. I said, we don't getting around. Ball not traveled into the boundary. And two more to the score. So moves on to 35 now. And Gian Satpika moves on to 23 of 23. So we see another slip coming out and going to the deep extra cover region. So this means the fine leg has to come up into the 30th circle. This is not good bowling by Tehan. Packing his offside and then going down the leg side. That's a wide. And also, field not the, the wicket keeper not being able to hold on to it. And concedes another extra run. So that's two runs there again. Brings Ramesh on to strike. We're very lucky that he didn't get a touch on that. With the fine leg up. There we see again and down the leg side. And another two runs to Romesh this time. Fine leg coming around, doing some hard work and stopping it. Now the score moves on to 39 for no wicket at the end of seven overs. Here we see the most wickets in the tier B. San Sankalp of Dharma, so Gambalango to 13 wickets. Romesh Suranga, St. Anthony's Vatala, 13. Lohan Aroshan, Dharma, so Gambalango to 13. Then Sasanka Netmina, Lumbini College, 13. And Upendra Varnakula Surya, Dharma Raja College, Candy, 11. So third, four bowlers on 13 wickets each. Sasanka Netmina is four. Two four wicket holes. So one of these guys, Ramesh Suranga, is playing in this match. Be interesting to see whether he can go ahead of the others. Netma continues. And Gyan goes down on one knee. Excellent drive there through the covers for four. So he's seen the ball well now. Gone on to 27 of 24. 
Jan Satmika you can see that three boundaries and all three boundaries scored by him. This is exactly what uh, St. Anthony's would have needed. Brilliant start. And Netma being the unlucky bowler, all three boundaries scored of him. Proving to be pretty expensive. This one again driven for another two. So runs coming thick and fast now. Run rate has moved down to above six. Don't think this is the start Ananda wanted. After winning the toss and elected to field. That one is driven up -ish. and this time he has to go straight into the hands of the mid off fielder playing one or too many balls in there. Silly mistake there by Gihan, not needing to go for that. And Anthony's have lost their first wicket. We see Gihan Satmika walking back for 29 of 27 deliveries. The runs are coming. Unfortunately, uh, caught by Hansa Jai Singer of Netma Samaravira. So Netma strikes. Exactly what Ananda would have wanted. We need a few more of those. Very, very disappointing shot. He had got plenty of runs in this over. Not needing to... Uh, look for that shot so the new batsman is Dilip Niroshan Fernando 18 years old has 122 runs in five matches highest been 47 so could this be the day he's going to get a half century Netma Samari the striking finally been a tad bit expensive Holding his fourth over has one for 24. But I'm sure now this wicket will do a lot of good to his nerves. Let's see a change bowler from now on. And interestingly, another left hander. So three left handers in the top order for St. Anthony's so far. Nicely ball there and well played by the lip. So we still see the two slips. No change in the field. That ends over number eight. So Anthony is forty-five for one. Ope Darua, Jati Kandam New Chenaker and a Krida Kikukaranata, see the Takin at the Bobbiani, in the Asia Vishalutama, Krida Bound Pradashana Garea, Borale, the Chan Sports with it, Vasaraka Vagakima, Adam Mapianaganda, the Chan Sports Borella.
So after eight overs, we see the first bowling change. Anand, the skipper coming on, sorry to Bandara. So this eight overs of pace done, and we see a spinner coming on. This has been the case with most schools. Opting to go with their spinners. Well, you can't blame them when uh, the two opening bowlers were a bit wavered. Fast dish. Slight appeal there from the keeper. But not really interested. More of just trying to keep the batsman on strike. Online will be interesting to see whether he will get any uh, turn and help from the pitch. Loud shout again, coming well forward, striking him outside the off stump. Again, flat work towards the leg for a single, wearing his pace a bit. We'll need to get that uh, run rate of 5.21 to below 4. Dilip Niroshan will take strike. Well, there was a run there. A dot ball to end that over. Nine gone, 46 for one. will continue after he got that wicket it's a good first over by the skipper just one run in that over it could have should have been two basically the drum is turning down that run in the last delivery One day cricket, you need to get every single run that is possible, especially at the start of uh, the innings. Uh, 
Oh, okay, that stump. I'm sure this is the best time for Ananda to bring this run rate down. Ramesh has been taking his time. Just 10 of 26. Gian Satmika, the danger man, is back in the pavilion. Just going it over, run a ball, 29 of 27. a packed offside field here just one slip you get the third man a point a cover or extra cover and a mid off on the leg we have a fine leg a mid wicket and a mid on This is going a bit quiet all of a sudden. Netma also bowling good areas now. This time driven nicely through the gap to the boundary. That's his first boundary in this innings. So the 50 up for St. Anthony's in the 10th over. A very good start for them. Apart from that one hiccup. much better to end the 10th over and St. Anthony is 50 for, no, for 1 after 10. You will see the Manhattan of uh, St. Anthony's College Vatada this quarter final that 8th over losing their first we got pretty decent betting up to that run red part coming down a tad bit from about six to five after that fall of the first wicket. Sahir Bandara will continue his second over. Loud shout there. Coming on the front foot, not sure. Philip Niroshan still to score. Not off the mark as yet. That run signaled as a wide. The keeper won't be happy with that. Wide as well as uh, extra run also to the total. 
Uh, the keeper was unable to gather that. That's a better line. striker not taking a start there but safely home for that single Time Dilip opens his account. The six deliveries. So eleven gone, fifty four for one. Here we can see the projected scores. As of now, with this projected run rate, the current run rate, and the will end up at two forty five. I'm sure they would like something more than that with the start they've got but this is cricket so you'll never know what could happen let me see the second bowling change left arm spinner Isuru Ayesh coming on from the canal end Got a tall lad. That's a false stroke by Dilip Niroshan, trying to one on one knee, trying to hike it over mid wicket and ends up skying it to extra cover. So he's sort of striking in his first delivery. Roshan walking back for just one run of seven deliveries. That was not a shot he should have played, especially when seeing the left armor in the first uh, first over in the first delivery. So Anthony is now slipping to 54 for two in the twelfth over. Isurai has figures of one for no run in his first delivery. Super way to start your spell. Can't ask for anything better. And the skipper of St. Anthony's Avishka Tarindu walking out. 
a lot will depend on him to bet out the balance 39 overs remaining or 38.5 to be exact that was a silly stroke that he played In just seven deliveries. With the first right hand at number four, none other than Skipper Vishka Darindu. This can happen with the new ball. Still quite new as we are using two white balls. This is just the sixth over from this end. So Vishka is off the mark with the second delivery he faces. The left hander will have to be careful. Ball might be going the other way. Bit of grass on the track as well. Interesting to see. Sairu Bandara will continue bowling to his counterpart. Avishka Tarindu. Katarindu, a member of the Sri Lanka under 19. <laughs> so, a lot will depend on uh, Abhishek Tarindu. He 
can just keep batting. Zidane Abish Katarindu has uh, 352 his name in a two day game last season. Only to be broken by uh, Namut Parnavita and after that going on to get a 400. And no hurry, nicely working that to the long on fence. Yeah, the field is there, just one run. Almost the octave, so after 13 overs, St. Anthony 60 for 2. You see the betting card of St. Anthony's. Jan Satmita was the first to go for 29. Didip Niroshan was the other batsman out for 1. Surame Surang got 19 and Avishka Tarindu on 2 at the crease. Again, cut away, not getting any turn, going on with the arm, or going the other way. So after 14, Sanantari 62 for 2. We'll take a look at the bowling card. Dan Pereira, none for 21 of 4. Netma Samaravira, 1 for 28 of 5. Saviru Bandara, none for 6 of 3. And Isuru Ayesh has one wicket. That in his first over, first very first delivery. The run rate has been dragged back by the spinners. It's going well about six at the start of the innings. It's come down to 4.4. Still.
still it could be considered as a very good start for St. Anthony's. You have to be careful. We've seen the ball well now. Been there from the start. Run taken there. Good call by the two batsmen. Seen that the point fielder was deep on the 30 yard circle. Katarindu coming out and driving that over the mid off fielder's head. So he gets his first boundary. Moving on to 7 of 11. They need to get a move on as well. Now that he's got this boundary, they've got 5 runs in the over. Doesn't need to do anything silly now. That's exactly what they need to do. Field a drop down. And now he plays it along the ground for a single. And you see the O has already gone for six runs with a ball to be bold. Wrapped on the pads again. But going down the leg, you can see the wicket keeper moving down the leg. And after 15 overs, St. Anthony's are 68 for 2. And we'll have a short break. There'll be a water break. Come back after this. Burrell.
as we come back isro ayesh will continue messi cut away by avishka talindu to the sweeper cover just for one run Batting very sensibly here. Is there to be hit? So I'm hitting it over the infield, not just working it to the gaps and rotating the strike with the left and right hand combination. Not easy. One shot. So then we put that into the gap, but. So she did straight to the field. Work it on the leg, not making proper contact. This is good bowling. Three dot balls. Well, it's four dot balls now. Ramesh unable to uh, work it into the gap. A few deliveries that he could have easily done it. Another dot ball to end that over. Sixteen gone. Sixty-nine for two. From Father Joe Vikram Singh, a Pavilion end. It's Maosh the Fernando. It's with a small mate guy. Worked into the gap by Avishka Darindu. Was not coming back for two. So he has the right idea. Needs to keep rotating the strike. Keep the scoreboard moving. Also the Fernando, very small mid. This time driven to the long of uh, fielder. 
it's for one so this is exactly what they need interesting to see how is the how he's going to get it there a small mid uh, lad compare with the other under 19 years players see a slight change in field now the mid wicket been shifted to deep square leg on the mid wicket okay and the short mid going down to mid wicket the fine leg coming across to short mid and that one is a good run there something that ramesh suranga couldn't do in the previous over manages to do it in the first ball he faces in this over comprehensive stats score cards player profiles and points tables top players and action photos and many more could be viewed on the bestfun.com and avishka tarindu has thrown his wicket away that was a very good catch on the boundary taken by hansa jaisinger that's a big blow avishka tarindu goes for 12 of 18 and mahesh the fernando strikes in his first over so good bowling change there by the skipper now this could be a very big blow for sen anthony's their main batsman and skipper back in the hut amita sandeep is the new batsman in the 16 years old high score of 16 another left hand batsman So we've seen only one right hander so far. We've seen all the Anand the players running to that uh, field uh, on the mid wicket boundary. They know what a prize wicket that was. So 17 gone, 73 for three. that and the field has celebrated that wicket meant a lot and they know what the skipper could do, do if he stayed out there for longer is the rise continuing and Ramesh working it for a single This brings the new batsman Amit Sandeep on strike to face his first delivery. Yeah. 
a nice replace by Amita. Opens his account in the first delivery. Always easy for the batsman. The best way to build your brands, looking to advertise on the batsman during live matches, programs, events, interviews, websites, whatever you want. They'll be covering all the school matches or the tournament matches, the division one and two. So that's quite a lot of matches to come. Also another reminder to all school media units they could speak to the bestman.com and have some productions during their school matches. A lot of things to learn and get experience. Then to do it just get in touch with someone at the bestman.com before their respective school games and I'm sure Bestman will love to help them out. With the big given, yes, it's gone. Amita Sandeep. Uh, this is the problem playing for the turn. Edging one, two, the wicket keeper. Lakshita Kularatna. And Ayesh Isra Ayesh has struck for the second time in his fourth over. I mean, the Sandeep uh, gone for one just of three balls, got Lakshit the corner at the ball, Isra Ayesh. So, Nathan is falling into deep trouble now. 76 for 4 after a good start of 45 runs partnership and Sadhun Madhushank 18 year old walking in so someone will have to support Romay Suranga to build a decent score can't be losing wickets like this from a good position suddenly find themselves struggling now at 76 for 4 in the 18th over this pitch is brought to you live by the batsman.com covering all the division 1, 2 and even the ladies the school girls games right around the country slight misfield there and gives Sadun Madhushanka his first run of the first delivery takes a lot of pressure and after 18 it's 77 for 4 First 10 overs, which belong to St. Anthony's. And they've crawled back in the next eight, picking up four wickets.
So now to the Fernando with his tail up. Now we cut in his first over. Keeping it tight. Can hear a lot of chatter around the bat by the Ananda fielders. Interestingly, they have still not looked at bringing a close catcher. Sandhu on strike. Nicely bowled again. Create some doubt in the batsman mind if you just can bring a fielder closing at the close catching. And there goes another one going on the back foot, trying to cut too close to the body. What is happening here? Well, so the Fernando picks up his second in his second over. Sadhu Madhushanka gone for one of six deliveries. Bowl well, so the Fernando. This is not good batting at all by the Vatul Antonians. Just throwing it away after a very, very good start by the openers. Kavish Adulanjana, the new batsman, 19 years, has 135 runs to his name, highest of a 69. So interesting to see a man who scored highest of 69 with 100 odd runs to his name coming at number 7. But they tried to change their batting order around. The middle order didn't seem to have much runs under their belt. You see another left hand. That's the end of the 19th over. St. Anthony 77 for 5. See the projected scores now coming down. The current rate 202, but I think that's a long way away now with half the side in the pavilion. Good if they can go up, you know, at least look at patting the 50 overs. Getting whatever runs that comes their way. Thing in the region of 180. 160 to 180. Give a fighting score on the board. But there's nothing on the wicket. The pitch doing nothing much. Just that it was the batsman's shot selection that has caused their downfall. This is the beauty of cricket after a 50 run overting stand to be 77 for 5. What can you say? This time a run is taken. So Romay Suranga gets off strike. Another 
Shadulanjana So Dula Kavi Shadulanjana also off the mark. Almost to 79 now for five. So another tidy over after the first two deliveries. Next four all dot balls. So Ananda pulling this back now in their favor. After 20 overs, 78 for five. See the run rate dipping now below 4 and to 3.9. This is the problem when you keep losing wickets at regular intervals. The Fernando pulling a very, very tidy line. Not giving any room to the batsman. So already three dot balls. This is exactly what they need to do. Get in a few overs quickly. Create the pressure. That's a maiden to end that over. 21 gone. St. Anthony is 78 for 5. See the betting card here after those opener. Gian Satmika 29. And the other opener, Ramesh Surang, gone 24. All single digit figures. So it will be Surwaish to continue.
Ramesh to run count 25 of 59. There's two boundaries to his name. They need to keep rotating the strike. As well as he will need to bat as long as he can. Worked by Kavisha to the deep square leg fielder. So one run. Bowling his sixth over as two for fifteen. Once the spinners came on, changed the whole complexion of the game. That's the end of over number twenty two. Eighty for five. Bowling card. The wicket takers, Netma Samarri, is getting the first. And then two each to Ayesh. Isuru Ayesh and Manoj the Fernando. Marshall the Fernando will continue. In his previous over was a maiden. That's not the case this time. One run. To the longer fielder. And that's another wicket there. From his Suranga, the man who has been batting from morning. Plays one straight into the hands of the first slip fielder, taking a good diving catch. And what is happening here? Now to the front end of the boy with the golden arm. Bowling his fourth over as three wickets for five runs. From his Suranga gone for 26 off 64. Caught. Noshal Dharmaratna, Bowl Mouse to the Fernando. So St. Anthony is losing their way and losing it fast. Kanishka Gimhan, the new batsman, got 50 runs in this season, highest been 24. The Fernando spinning a web around the Antonian batsman. Kavi Shadulanjan and Kanishka Giman. Kanishka Giman will take strike. The new batsman. 
They don't seem to have a plan, St. Anthony's. No one seems to be wanting to bet long. So now it's up to Kavisha, Duranjana and Kanishka. Not at the halfway mark as yet. And now the Fernando completes another over. 23 gone, 82 for 6. Opetarua, Jati Kandam, New Jenaker, and a Krida Kikukaranata, seen the Takin at the Bopiani, in Asia Vishalutama, Krida Bound Pradashana Karea, Borale, the Chance Sports with it, Vasaraka Vagakima, Adam Pianaganda, the Chance Sports Borella. So I will continue. Coming round the week up this time, just trying to change the angle a bit. Kavisha gets off strike, moves on to four. Let's go, moves on to eighty three for six. Apologies, that's Shakti Udara, the new bowler coming in. Another left armor. He prefers to come round the wicket to the left hand and the right hand. So Shakti Udara seems to have settled into a nice rhythm. Well, it will always be easy for a new bowler coming in when the opposition is six down. It's not a lot on the board. And that completes over number 24. St. Anthony's 83 for six. So they will continue. It will be hard to take the ball off his head. Seems to be getting wickets as in many places. Excellent figures of 3 for 5 in his 5th over. And 
I get the feeling he is not done here with three cuts. Rare single given off his bowling. That completes another over. Ball to the front end of five overs completed. That's three for seven after 25 overs, 86 for six. You see the Manhattan. Sure, they wouldn't want to see this from the 15th over onwards. I would say the wickets started falling. They lost four wickets there. That was all downhill from there onwards. Rocking back and working that for a single. So at the halfway mark, St. Anthony's 86 for 6. Really been asked to bat after that good start of 50 in the first 10. Have really lost their way. Stretching out and leaving the delivery. And after 26 overs, 89 for 6.
our shot continuing very tidy spell here quick single taken very good running there that's exactly what they need was we'll moved on to 92 Pretty decent batting, rotating the strike, who has moved on to 93 now, to 27 overs. Lakyudara continuing his third over. Two batsmen, Kavish and Kanishka, taking their time. Very rightly, there is enough time. Uh, 22 overs after this. And when you just going for a while he set in the bottom of the bat but not going anywhere going down on a knee and try to sweep and given out Confident appeal by the bowler. Just Kavisha Dulanjan gone for 8 of 23. LW by Shakti Udara. Just said that they had all time in their world and then it was and plays across the line. That pressure was built in those four dot balls. Ball before this. Abdul Rahman, 18 year old. Played just three matches, eight runs. Highest of six. But he'll definitely need more than that in this innings. Ninety three for seven now. So Shakti Udara also getting into the wickets column in his third over. Yet to see a field about in two close catch in and on the right on top now. It's 
So with those defensive strokes, like to see someone coming right up to the batsman. And after 28, it's 93 for 7. So that will continue. Ideally, I would like to see a few men round the bat. A bat pad or a slip. Put some pressure, some chatter. Confuse the batsman a bit. There we see it going. Driven through the slip, vehicle slip area. Runs to the scope. There yeah, we'll see the step coming in now. Better late than never. Not very nice to work on the leg for a single. It's all up to Kanishka now. It's a new man to face. Still, we don't see the close catcher coming in under the helmet. You need to put some pressure on this batsman. Try and wrap this up as quickly as possible. Don't want the late order coming in and giving them runs. You see, he's more into defense. And he's going to be in two minds. If you see two fielders in front, he won't be wanting to defend that ball. Showing his intentions clear. He just wants to occupy one end. Outside the stump and wide outside the stump, but right the signal wide by the umpire. You want to wide again and to make the best one go for that drive. and it goes back on the back foot this could be close Campus back for the second run and that brings up the 100 for St. Anthony's 100 for 7 in the 29th over
So now doing the right thing. Looking for singles. Good call there. There's no run. Straight to the field. And a very good return. Very much for the Fernando. Just managing to cross the 100 run mark in this 30th over. In fact, the 100 coming in the 29th, to the 28th basically. So after 30 overs, St. Anthony has been put into bed 105 for 7. See a bowling change. Marshall being given a rest. And Zairo Bandara, the skipper, coming on. So now we see close catcher, which I requested for some time ago. Looking at pushing and running now. And there was an appeal by the batsman, a bowler and the keeper. Interesting to see what Tampa has to say about that.
Let's give. Given as runs. Changing that close catcher from the leg side to the off. The team finally is happy with where he is standing, standing in inside the crease now. Runs left rapidly. To the deep square leg fence where there's a fielder there. Cuts it off. Just one run. So Abdul Rahman moved on to 7 8 of 11. And it's Kagi Man 10 of 25. Now one strike. Sairo Bandara has not been able to get his name amongst the wickets. But in his fifth over, I'm sure he would like to wrap this up as fast as possible. That one flattish and fastish. Easily worked to the leg side for a single. 31 gone, 109 for 7. And this is the betting card, apart from those two openers. And then the captain, Avishkatari, the 12. You can see all single digit figures there. In the middle, not doing justice. They have another 19 overs remaining. Look to bat out those 19 overs. Thing in the region of three runs, two to three runs over. They can get up to about that 60 run mark, make that score around the 160, 170, ideally about 180. But give them something to bowl at. But I think Ananda should have the eyes on something much different. After another winning the toss, they will be happy with this score now. But at the end of the 10th over, I don't think they would have been really happy about their decision. Since the spinners came on, it has been a total different ball game. Slight partnership building here, 16 runs. Dara bowling his fifth has because of one for 11. Decent uh, contribution by him. And after 32, it's 112 for 7. And I think it's time for drinks. Take a short break and come back to you as play resumes.
ඔබේ දරුවා ජාතික කණ්ඩායම නියෝජනය කරන ක්‍රීඩකයෙකු කරන්නට සිහින දකින්න දෙමව පියනි එන්න ආසියාවේ විශාලතම ක්‍රීඩා බාණ්ඩ ප්‍රදර්ශනාගාරය බොරැල්ලේ the chance sports within වසරක වගකීම අදම පියන ගන්න the chance sports බොරැල්ල ोरेल The eighth wicket down. 
with the score 112. So the skipper finally being able to get a wicket. Sean Aniket is the new batsman. Well, was that a catch? Try to go for a drive. Find this Aviru. Been able to pick up a wicket. That run going through where the second slip would have been. That's not coming back for the second. It's good running there. Unfortunately, the shot selection of uh, the Antonian batsmen have not been quite great. Coming to a quarter final, you need to up your game. Matches will get tougher and tougher. Not going to be any easier like your first round games. And after 33, St. Anthony is 114 for it. Udara, a longest spell, bowling his uh, sixth over. And they finally got a close catcher and a slip. That one is played in the air, over covers, over the extra car fielder. Down to the boundary for four, for valuable runs. Abdul Rahman moving on to 14 now. Boundary coming after a long time. Everyone fully. On the full, straight to the short extra cover. Oh, that was really close, close to the body, I'm trying to cut it. Yes, the field again. 34 gone. St. Anthony's 118 fight.
Saya Rwandar continuing the skipper. Jun Anthony is doing the right thing. Shana Niket. Whatever loose ball you get, you can put it away. Just pat. Another 15.3 overs remaining. To get around 30 to 40 runs in that beautifully bowl there. And all credit to that slip fielder. Moving. Paul Span took the edge. It was a very, very good catch by the slip fielder. Because he was unsighted for a little bit from the wicket keeper. So Bandara collects another one. Got two wickets now. And Shan Aniket has to go for two of seven. And the last man in is Patum Randeniya. 17 years old. Highest of 12 runs. Straight one match. And won't uh, Senente is love to have those 12 runs scored again. Wonder a beautiful delivery that was. It's spun in and took the outside edge. No credit to that slip fielder. We got another slip in. A good, good uh, field at the moment. We got uh, left hand. Patum with we hung. Now very, very interesting attacking field. Two slips and a man on the off. Wanted to wrap this up as fast as possible. Who think when your betting side is on f at 50 for no wicket to be 118 for 9? Fastest delivery, short, easily negotiated by Patum. Flighted after 35 overs, San Anthony is 118 for 9. We see a bowling change from the canal end. Isuru Ayesh coming on for his second spell. Got a wicket in his first over that he bowled for the day. Actually, the first ball that he bowled for the day. Oh, and almost. Another wicket in the first ball of the second spell. That was inside edge. 
Besser managed to get a single. Abdullah Rahman exposes his number 11. Seems to have faith in him. So she has uh, 2 for 17. So overall a good uh, bowling all, all all around spin bowling has been very good for another everyone chipping in with wickets pick of them being Mahusha the Fernando Right, almost had a wicket there. There's no harm in getting another field on the off. The close catching. Just to put the batsman under severe pressure. He's just fending at everything that is coming his way. Well, they don't seem to have a proper plan. <laughs> and after 36, St. Anthony is 119 for 9. So comprehensive stats, scorecards, player profiles, whatever you want, points tables, top players, action photos, and many more. Visit the batsman.com. You can get all those about school cricket. Division 1, Division 2. All these matches, the Division 1 and 2 quarterfinals, semifinals and finals will be covered by the batsman. And keep logging in and get all the updates wherever you are, on your phone, on your laptop, while you are in office or in the bus. But make sure not to use it while driving. Keep your eyes on the road. Sairwandar 2 for 20. Like to finish this off as soon as possible. Well, getting some turn there off the wicket. That too short. Best one not needed to play. So Abdul Rahman not uh, scared to take a uh, single in the second delivery and give his part of the strike well they need the runs as well not that they are going for big hits so I think take anything that is on offer and 
and hope that his number 11 can just get better on ball and cross over or just hang in there. That's the end of another over, 37 gone. Anthony is 120 for 9. See the wagon wheel of St. Anthony's. It's a royish. Well, forgetting that we're playing with two balls. And then realizing that Tampa had the ball, which he's supposed to bowl with, and returning the other ball. Which has bowling his eighth over, two for seventeen. There we see again the second ball. Not afraid to take to rotate the strike and give it to his number eleven. The Roman on seventeen now. Last we got for Sean Aniket. Was out for two. Sent back. But Patu also trying to look for a single. Not a bad idea. And just defending. But to add a few more runs to the score. You never know what could happen. After this over, there'll be 12 more overs, so if they can get something, the region of 150 at least. But he's off the mark. There'll be some Mahanama fighting from a precarious position of 12 for 4 yesterday. The limp to 150 odd, and then, but a fight back. Bundling St. Anthony is out before that total. So anything is possible in cricket. Every single run will make it even difficult for the fielding side. Time nice to work by Abdul for another single. Gives a strike. Head of power number 38. St. Anthony is 123 for 9. Obey Darua, Jati Kandam, New Janaker, and a Krida Kikukaranata, seen the Takin at the Baupiani, in Asia Vishalutama, Krida Bound Pradashana Karea, Borale, the Chance Sports with it, Vasaraka Vagakima, Adam Piyanaganda, the Chance Sports Borella.
Tony Sito over the extra covers head. One bounce into the fence. Four runs. So Abdul Rahman. Fighting it out there. Moves on to 22. So this is what I said. Just pat, pat the 50 overs. The runs are going to come. Oh, that's a chance. Stumping chance going up again. Keeper making a mess of it. Lakshita Kularatna. The bad miss there. Could have been all over for St. Anthony's. Had plenty of time but couldn't gather the ball properly. Wander getting the best one to do that mistake. Only to let your wicket keeper let let you down. Tuan played in the vacant uh, steep area pass in the first slip and they're back for two. The runs coming in very slowly, but I'm sure St. Anthony's won't mind that. Psychologically, every run counts, especially when you're nine down. So now they brought in a second slip. This is what I don't understand. Now that's a wide. Why would you need fielders right around the boundary if you when you're nine down? And that second slip early and that would have gone straight to hand. And puts it to the vacant short mid area which the fielder came in from there to the slip. And 39 gone, 130 for 9. The Raman on 25. Trying to look for a few runs. Shouldn't be in a hurry. Just the 40th over in progress. Let's run shortage going. Pulling it to the man on the boundary. At square leg, it's the single moving on to 26. And Petro Mitan again now has faced 14 deliveries for one run. So he doesn't seem to be having any problems.
See that ball going away from the left hander. So Aish has been able to uh, not got a lot of turn. Lighting it out of the off stump. That's when coming forward and playing at it. Lucky not to get a touch. But uh, no harm done, like just left alone. So after 40 overs, St. Anthony's 132 for 9. That one is played up ish in there. And that's the end of it. Dan Pereira takes the catch. Abdul Rahman. Had to be too cute there. I mean Savir Bandara finishes with three. That's Abdul Rahman gone for twenty six of thirty six. Caught by Tian Pereira. Two boundaries, trying to see that man down there. Just throwing it away. You can see St. Anthony is 132 all out. Ananda College will be very happy with what they've done, and they've achieved. After the start that St. Anthony's got for f scoring 50 in the first 10. Here we see the betting card. Gian Sasmita 29, Robey Suranga 28, a good start there. And then Dilip Miroshan 1, Avishka Tarindu 12, the prize wicket. Avita Bandara 1, Sandhut Madhushanka 1, Avishka Dulanja 9. Oh, good hand at the end there. And here you see the bowling figures. The spinners doing really well. Saviru Bandara 3 for 28. Bhavashada Farando 3 for 18 of 7 overs. Isuru is 2 for 21. And Shakti Udara 1 for 15. Netna Senu is at the other wicket taker. The first wicket that he took. And this is the partnerships. 45 for the first wicket. And then all downhill. 19. 45 in the opening partnership and then after that there's 19 and towards the end 11, 18 and that last partnership of the 10th wicket. Here we see the that middle overs that lost the way for them. For after the 10th, the 12th over onwards was the End of it. Just eight boundaries in that whole total of 132 in 40 overs. So the boundary count also being slow. Well, at the start, you can't expect it. It was a bit damp out and heavy outfield. But they didn't, just didn't capitalize on that good start they had.
so yeah we should will be back after a short break we'll just take 10 minute break and said anthony will be batting again well the cut off period was 115 so most probably ananda will bat till 115 so we'll take a short break and come back in 10 minutes see you then ඔබේ දරුවා ජාතික කණ්ඩායම නියෝජනය කරන ක්‍රීඩකයෙකු කරන්නට සිහින දකින්න තිබව පියනි එන්න ආසියාවේ විශාලතම ක්‍රීඩා බාණ්ඩ ප්‍රදර්ශනාගාරය බොරැල්ලේ the chance sports within වසරක වගකීම අදම පියන ගන්න the chance sports බොරැල්ල
ඔබේ දරුවා ජාතික කණ්ඩායම නියෝජනය කරන ක්‍රීඩකයෙකු කරන්නට සිහින දකින්න දෙමව පියනි එන්න ආසියාවේ විශාලතම ක්‍රීඩා බාණ්ඩ ප්‍රදර්ශනාගාරය බොරැල්ලේ the chance sports within වසරක වගකීම අදම පියන ගන්න the chance sports බොරැල්ල So as we come back for the start of the Anand innings, chasing 132, 133 needed. They will be uh, batting before the break. It's about uh, just under half an hour. So 25 minutes of batting. Another Jaivira will face the first delivery from Avishka Tarindu, the skipper of St. Anthony's. And actually the Kulratna will be at the non-striker's end. Going in, and there is going in with two slips and a gully on the off. A point, a covers, a extra covers, and a mid off, a mid on, and a fine leg. Then starts off with a wide down the leg side, just as the Anandi and opening bowler Tan Perra did. Well, when you've given a Total of 132. You can't afford to be giving any easy runs away. That's much better. And now the Javira just letting it go. Played one innings, three runs. So highest is three. Coming in for a quarter final. Just with one match under your belt, we will want to cement his place. Yes. And there we go again down the leg side. Another wide. So both teams, the opening bowler. Having problems with the new ball, the white ball. Well, not easy, they have been bowling with the uh, left again. Did he get attached to it? Two runs there. Wait and see what the umpire has to say. 
Well, that's off the bat. Shot of the Javier off the mark. Not easy bowling when you have to bowl in the first round with the red ball and suddenly given the new ball, a white ball in the quarters. Don't think they've had a lot of time practicing with the white ball as well. But they will struggle. You can't take those as excuses nowadays. Plenty of time to get used. That one again. Trying to go for extra pace. Going with the arm. We could keep taking it in front of second slip. So this is the third wide in this over. another wide that's the fourth wide now in this innings to find like for a single so quite expensive over this given away four easy runs as wides and uh, you have to bowl those four balls and this will be bowling a 10 10 ball over so for the first time Lakshya the cold run the left hand will be on strike. So after one over, Ananda seven for no loss. Take a look at most runs in the first round. Pavan Sandesh of Deva Patira Jarat Kama, 306 runs. Dinura Abevik, Abevikrama Singh, 288 from Sarvashas College, Matara Kaushita Sanket, Mahinda College, Gaul, 268. Sandeep Halangoda, St. Sidwester's College, Candy with 241. And Avishka Tarindu playing in this match. St. Anthony is 2. 29 but couldn't do much today so Gyan Satmina will bowl the second over from Father Joe Vikram Singh Pavidian end This picture is brought to you live by the batsman.com. <laughs> Foolish but left alone.
There's a pill. Ball going off the ground. And like his keeper, balls are wide. Two opening bowlers from Anand also had the same issue. And now, St. Anthony's can, uh, but the bowlers also having the same issue. Much better. Yan Satmika. Look at that required run rate, just 2.58. <coughs> and then there's all the time in the world. Look at the uh, field fog, Jan Satmika pull into two slips and a gully. The point covers, short extra, and a mid off on the off. And just the mid on. And the fine leg on the leg side. Pretty offside dominant field. Pretty same for the skipper as well. And work towards uh, office pads. Good call there by another. The wicket keeper get into the ball very quickly. And after two overs, Ananda nine for no wicket. Anudha has been doing most of the batting out of the just face 12 deliveries whereas Lakshita just facing the one delivery That's another wide. Another trying to go after it, but it was way too outside the stump. It continues to bowl wides. It's not good bowling by the skipper. I was telling that they would have needed him to lead from the front. Run full on the stumps. Work towards uh, 
final leg of the best friend come back for two very good running there Pano the Javira Let's move down to 12 now. Oh, has he lost his rhythm? That was a wide. Just try, I think he tried a slow delivery there. Got it horribly wrong. This is about the sixth wide that he's bowled. The only way he can stop this is uh, that's much better. Try to hold it cross him, not let it swing. another wide just can't be doing this and you've got just a total of 132 to defend On the pad, there is no man there. That should have gone for two. Well, one of the slip fielders running towards the square leg boundary and retrieves it. So two runs. Could be the fielding by that uh, the slip fielder. Joining in, Sarantari has been asked to bat for all out for 132. Down on the spinners doing most of the damage, picking up 9 wickets out of the 10 that fell. Anthony's getting a good start, being 50 for 1 in 10 overs, and then losing their way. So finally, that over comes to an end. 3 gone, and on the 16 for no wicket. So there you see most wickets, San Sankalpa 13, Romain Suranga from Anthony's Vatala, we should see him shortly, he's on 13, Lohan Aroshana Dharma so Kambalang Goda on 13, Sasanka Netmin also on 13 and Upendra Varna Gola Surya 11. So we, we should see uh, Romain Suranga coming into the action very soon, most probably after the 8th over. Swung into the batsman, but foolish. And Lakshita Kularatna opens his account. He moves to two.
you know, just face three deliveries. So he's been uh, watching most of the action for the last three overs. Another Javid has been doing all the uh, facing. Short right to pull it from outside the off stump. Lucky not to get a touch. That run shot is pulled away to the wicket mid wicket boundary for four. So that's the first boundary for Lakshida Kularatna. And that's the first boundary for Anand. Trying to go short. So after four was and then the twenty two for no we could. Complete your stats, scorecards, your player profiles, points tables, top players, action photos, and many more. Anything you need at www.thebestman.com. Bringing you live pictures, coverage of these uh, schools matches, the knockouts. Just completed the Division 1 Tier 8. Uh, quarter final matches and today starting the tier B quarter finals today and tomorrow St. Peter's uh, there we see a bowling change and that doesn't bring any uh, change in the bowling of wides Sandun Madhushank starts off with a wide. So the wicket keeper has come up to the stumps. And Madhushank manages to beat the bat. Definitely not going to see any short delivery is bold. There we go again. Another wide. Dragging it out to the old stump. Well, this is helping the Anand, the batsman. They don't have to do much of work.
Now the trunk are not very tall. That's the third wide down. Pulling the outswinger. Paul going with uh, the hand. Away from the right hand, uh, but not pitching it in the right area. You can get that batsman to play on the front foot and get those slips in play. Especially when you just scored 132 runs. Oh, that's a better delivery. You need to be tight. You need to be on the money. You just can't give away free runs. You make the batsman work for it. Again, moving away from the batsman. Play, playing at it. Be better if you can get him on the front foot. Ask him to drive at those. And another wide. The fourth wide in this over. They must be just trying to get away with bowling the eight overs of pace. I'm sure we'll see spin coming on from both ends. This might be the last over before the lunch break. They bowled quite a lot, not only five, I think they have bowled about seven overs altogether. So now coming round the wicket. Making him play, working it towards the, the square leg fielder for a single. Fielder running across from mid wicket. Finally, that over comes to an end. So, we'll take a break. Uh, yeah, uh, this is the Ananda College betting card. Ananda Jaiviran not out on 9 of 22. And Lakshita Kularatna not out on 8 of, uh, uh, not out on 6 of 8 deliveries. So, just 5 overs bowled. Ananda 27 without loss. Most of those runs coming from wides. We'll be back after the lunch break. We'll see you in 45 minutes after the lunch break for the continuation of, an, of the Anand innings. Till that, stay tuned. Opey Darua, Jati Kandam New Janaker and a Krida Kikukaranata, Sina Takana de Bopiani, in Asia Vishalutama, Krida Bound Pradeshana Karea, Borale, the Chance Sports with it, Vasaraka Vagakima, Adam Pianaganda, the Chance Sports Borella.
ඔබේ දරුවා ජාතික කණ්ඩායම නියෝජනය කරන ක්‍රීඩකයෙකු කරන්නට සීන දකින්න දෙමව පියනි එන්න ආසියාවේ විශාලතම ක්‍රීඩා බාණ්ඩ ප්‍රදර්ශනාගාරය බොරැල්ලේ the chance sports within වසරක වගකීම අදම පියන ගන්න the chance sports බොරැල්ල Good afternoon and welcome back to St Peter's Grounds where this quarter final in the tier B of the division 1 tournament between Ananda College and uh, St Anthony's College uh, Wattala taking place if you are just joining in St Anthony's College Wattala was asked to bat by Ananda College after winning the toss and were bowled out for 132 and ananda just before the break batted for 5 overs and a 27 for no wicket so we just starting just after the break just after the lunch break we're back here Gyan Sakmila will start proceedings from the Reverend Father Joe Vikram Singh of Pavilion End. Well, they didn't bowl all that well. Quite a lot of wides in those five overs. Wouldn't want to see that uh, if you're an Anthony supporter, especially when you scored only 132. on a good batting track they got off to a very good start the 50 for 1 in the 10th over and then just lost their way i would put it down to combination of good spin bowling and bad shot selection by most of their batsmen there were no demons on the track Again, Satmika, as he started bowling with two slips, a gully. Then as they walk down towards the uh, Pilek region, only one run. This field is two slips and a gully. So now it will be the left hand on strike. Lakshita Kularatna, basically the same field which changes over. Gonna run that field for you, two slips, a gully well. Just change of field again for the left-hander. Gully coming out. So now it's two slips, the point, the covers, the extra covers and uh, a mid-off on the offside. A fine leg, a mid-wicket halfway, waiting for that short ball pull. and the mid on on the leg side played into the cover region so dakshita kolratna before lunch played one pull in there and connected that well in the vacant region and now we have a field to put there is half a not on the boundary not in just outside the circle
Left hand cut away through the slip and point region. That's another boundary, the first boundary after lunch. Lakshita moving on to 10. Well, with the sun out, his sogginess on the grounds would have dried out. So, ball running a bit faster than the morning. Both batsmen on 10. Needing another 101 runs for victory with plenty of overs remaining. To go for an expensive drive that ends over number six and under 32 for no wicket. So, this is the Patala bowling card. Just three bowlers used so far. Now, Shatar in the 14. None for 14 of two, very expensive with the wides. Well, they had a problem before lunch. And all those five overs that were bowled, plenty of wides been bowled. But just after lunch, the first over after lunch, uh, pretty decent. So they would have had a chat about it. But let's see. Oh no. And and that starts again. Madhushankar starting off from where he left with the wide deliveries. York him there. Another Jaivira sticking it out. I'm sure they just want to uh, finish uh, the eight overs, which the pace have to bowl, and then bring on their spinners. Now there is danger for them. Yes. The first wicket is gone. Run out. Another Jaivira. Another Jaivira has run out. That was a stupid bit of uh, cricket there. Lakshita just charging down the wicket. And none of the was ball watching. Could have said no and sent his partner back but chose to run. Well, if you chose to run, that's your fault. Don't look at your partner after that. Well, if they ran on the shot, I think they would have made it because the throw bounced off the bowler's leg and for their luck went up in the air again. So he was able to gather it and break the stumps. After a valuable 33 run partnership, they lost their first wicket. Nushal Dharma Ratna, 74 runs in the five matches, highest of 27. They've been betting at number three, highest of 27 in five matches. It doesn't speak well for the batsman. Mm. 
It's batting outside his leg stump, as we can see, shuffles across. Lakshya the cold Ratna seemed maybe angry with himself or disappointed. You can clearly see that shot he played. He just needs to concentrate and stick out there and see that they get these balanced 100 runs. That's another wide. This time to the left hand. Not helping the Antonian cause. You just need to get the basics right, whatever sport you are doing. Can't expect your opposition just to play in your hands. That one is pulled away. One bounce into the fence. This is exactly what is going to happen. If you are not disciplined, you will have to pay for it. And they are paying dearly. Has moved up to 38 for one just in the seventh over. On ball short with that pace. That time swinging away. Back to back boundaries for Lakshita. This is not good bowling. Bowling all over the wicket here. Already 10 runs scored in this over. Well, two were gifts. I, th I would say all, f all 10 runs were gifts by the bowler. You need to know your strengths. You need to read the, the, the wicket. And find your areas quickly. Slipping on the track there. And after 7 overs, and on the 42 for 1. So Gyan will be continuing. Bowled a pretty decent uh, first over after lunch. Nishal Dharmaratna facing his first delivery. Well, St. Anthony is at this stage with 37 for no wicket, so not far behind. But don't forget, start of the 10th over, they all fell apart. That's nicely played, drop back. That's another boundary. For sure the ground has dried up. That the ball is running nicely. Shall Dharmaratna get in that nice into the gap? And then no stopping that after that. Squares so moved on to 46. Just 87 runs away for a place in the semi finals in this uh, tier B Division 1 tournament. Oh, where did that go from? Well, well, well. Four buys. 
And what's happening with St. Anthony's? The bowling wide, they're giving buys. You have to stop every single run. If you're defending 132. Seems like they've run short of ideas. That run is driven hard, straight down the ground. Past the middle field, uh, so another boundary. And Ananda seemed to be in a hurry. So it's moved to 54. Two boundaries off the bat and four buys. So 12 runs coming in this over. Nicely driven again. But this time the mid on fielder comes across. And no run. This boy has some elegance uh, the way he bets. The two boundaries that he scored were pure class. He got a beauty in between. But unfortunately, the wicket keeper let the bowler down. That's the end of over number eight, another fifty four for one. So as predicted, after the eight overs, we see spin. From the canal end. There was no guesses in that. Eight overs for 54. You have to bring your spinners on. So Romesh Suranga into the attack. And immediately wraps him on the pad. And looked as if it was going down the leg side. Is it going on with the arm? Again, Ravi on the pad is playing for the turn. But don't forget, this is white ball cricket. We play with two new balls. So this is just the fifth over from this end with this ball. Ball is fairly new. That was swept towards the mid wicket boundary. Nicely fielded there. On the boundary, restoring it to one run. So Lakshita is going and run a ball, 19 from 19. And Nushal is on 8 with two boundaries. So Anand have come out with a plan. can see that ball again going the other way. Mm. 
guided towards the third man region just one run Is of field him by the point fielder there diving to his right stopping certain boundary and after nine overs ananda 57 for one ඔබේ දරුවා ජාතික කණ්ඩායම නියෝජනය කරන ක්‍රීඩකයෙකු කරන්නට සීන දකින්න තිබෝ පියනි එන්න ආසියාවේ විශාලතම ක්‍රීඩා බාණ්ඩ ප්‍රදර්ශනාගාරය බොරැල්ලේ the chance sports within වසරක වගකීම අදම පියන ගන්න the chance sports බොරැල්ල as predicted spin from both ends just after the 8th over kavisha dulanjana bowling from father joe vikrama pavilion end that pavilion is basically used for the rugby at st peters Well, not a big difference. Fifty-seven for one against forty-six for one at this stage. Run nicely played into the break and third man region. Back for two. So this is where the Ananda. spinners came into play so let's hope that uh, we can see something the same region of with the anthorian spinners that run it pulled but straight to the field uh, on the first bounce at deep pin we got You have to be a bit careful. The ball can skid and come back into the right hand. The ball is fairly new. Again, nicely driven, and they are running. Hesitation, and that throw was way wide over the keeper's head. Ends up with three runs to the total. Comedy of errors here. The lone striker hesitated, and then decided to run. And the throw was way over the keeper's head, and the slip was backing up. Lucky didn't get to the boundary. Nothing's going right for these boys from Watala. I think they've been rattled after that uh, first uh, opening uh, partnership to be all out for 131 and not recovered since. Nice to cut away for easy single. In the end of over number 10. It's sixty-four for one. Let's have a look. 
this. So all high overs, most of them above five or five, just two overs below five runs. The previous over and the second over of the day. So pretty expensive. So this was the turning point. If you see at this stage, San Anthony is for 50 for one. And then everything started changing. Like they say, all hell broke loose. So let's see whether that can happen again. That was so close to that off stump. Dangerous. Down on one knee, and that's the first six. The first six of the match of the bat of Lakshita Kuratna coming in the eleventh over. Already moved to thirty of twenty-six. He's in a hurry. The first six of this match. Again on one knee, sweeping it this time along the ground. It's for a single. That's the right way to go about it. Just pat normal. If you have to hit it, just hit it. Not worry about the scoreboard. So the steep also has come out now. So basically no one attacking. Well the only way St. Anthony's can pull this off is they have to bowl Anand out. And I don't see them doing that with a field like this. Not After 11 overs, 71 for 1. And we can see the two worms, and the blue one is the another worm taking off a big gap there between those two. You can see just where the two wickets started to fall, and the deep away, but the another worm climbing. Avisha is to continue. Dakshita giving him some respect there. Sense something coming here. There's a big gap on the leg side in the mid deep mid wicket and the deep square leg. Kept him quiet for three deliveries. And he's bowled him. Going back and try to pull it. And could this be what the Antonians needed? Lakshita Kularatna gone for 31 of 32 deliveries. Didn't like to be tied down for four balls. Bowled by Kavisha Dulanjana. 
You see that four boundaries and a six. Strike rate of 96. New best friend Netma Karunaratna, 17 years old. Just 28 runs in two matches. Kavisha Duranjana picking up a wicket. The first one was a run out. They'll need a few more of these. Need some wickets quickly. Put some pressure on the on the batsman. That required target just 62. When firing it in, and that's a no ball this time. What's going on? Now it's a free hit to the new batsman who couldn't have asked for anything better just to swing his arms and that's that's a gift the second six of the innings second six of the match what a way to open your account Netmakar Naratna a free hit. You just can't afford to do this to new batsmen. Squares so moved along to 78. And the pressure back on St. Anthony's. Still to see a slip or a close catcher. And after 12 overs, 78 for 2. Ramesh Suranga is continuing going round the wicket to the right hander well changing tactics going over the wicket this time Slightly in the air. Beaten. And now he changes his uh, line again. Going down the wicket this time. Goes quite away from his stumps when he's going round the wicket. This is the problem when he goes through the wicket. Should come from behind the umpire. Can change us again. Now over the wicket again. That's another boundary. Coming over, coming out and over the mid on fielder. So we'll move on to 82. So boundary is coming in every over. A 
Brandon Berry will play at the end of over number 13, 82 for two. And this is the Ananda batting card. Both openers out in back in the pavilion. Another Javira for 10 and Lakshita Karnaratna for 31. After 32, after 13 overs, Ananda 82 for two, and Sir Anthony is was 60 for two. Required run rate there. It's 1.38. Slight hesitation again. But the best one are safe. To the wild throw. These are the things that uh, Anthony's have to stop. Not give them easy singles. Close in on the best one. Keep it tight. Get those dot balls bowled in. I'm sure the Ananda batsman may make the mistake. As we saw, Lakshita Kulratna was tied down for four balls and then tried something different. Threw away his wicket. That's all they need to create dot balls. So far, tidy over. Four dot balls and a single. Exactly what uh, St. Anthony's would need at the moment. And finishes off with the dot ball. So one run, a good over there for St. Anthony's. And on the 83 for 2 after 14. So the bowling card for Sir Anthony is. Well, just by one we got taken by the bowlers, the other was a run out. Kavisha Dulanjana. The lone wicket taker. And this time Ramesh going. Round the wicket. Think he's learnt his mistake. Trying to go through the wicket, through the umpire and the wicket. Pulling to the left hand, Netmakarna Ratna. Who's on seven of five deliveries. Just 50 runs required for Ananda to go into the semi finals. The first team to enter the semi finals in the tier B. So in the second quarter final played between uh, St. Peter's and Dharma Soka. In goal, St. Peter's were in trouble. 
recovered to 153 for 9 in the outlet at 40 overs. It was a late start there. At one stage they were 60 odd for 6. Oh, interesting. Holding back and then bowling. So after 15, 83 for 2. Missing the stumps there. driven and nice to field it there untidy by the wicket keeper gives the extra run Down to long off for a single. This is the issue. No slip. Has beaten got the edge and gets two runs after 16 hours 88 for two. Suranga continuing. Can advertise during these live matches, programs, events, interviews, websites. Advertise on the bestfriend.com. Contact those numbers which are shown on the screen. School matches, all the knockout matches of the school's tournament, the ladies. All that will be shown live on the bestfund.com. It's a good opportunity for anyone who wants to advertise their products. More schoolboys 
will want to watch these matches especially some some matches they not telling any outsiders coming to watch it so everyone be keen be watching it on their phones laptops computers whatever they can get their hands on and also it's a good opportunity for schools media units to get in touch and get some experience some help they want to show their matches you can work with the bestman.com that got something most probably the thigh pad if not it would been a wide so after 17 overs 89 for 2 Just 44 required of 33 overs. And then it's 73 for 3 at this stage. So we have a bowling change. From Father Joe Vikramasinghe, Pavilion N. First ball taken for a single Patum Vianga Nowadays you see a lot of spinners in the school's uh, circuit of spinners, leg spinners, left arm spinners. To cut a bit late on it. Paddle sweep down to the fine leg region just for one run. This was moved on to 90 for two. Another doing it easily. Just another 43 required. Cheeky single there. Just nudging it under the leg side and running with the shot. And after 18 overs, Ananda 92 for 2. Ope Tarua, Jati Kandam, New Jenaker and Krida Kikukaranata, seen the Takin at the Bopiani, in the Asia Vishalutama, Krida Bound Production Agaria, Borale, the Chance Sports with it, Vasaraka Vagakima, Adam Pianaganda, the Chance Sports Borella. This was where the stage, uh, St. Anthony's were losing. can see there was 77 for 4 at this stage. Mm -hmm. 
you can see the complete your stats scorecards player profiles points tables top players action photos and many more anything that you want just log on to www.thebestman.com for all those you need to check if you need to look up at any player all those details will be there this picture is also coming to you live by batsman.com a lot of cricket the schools knockouts division 1 and 2 quarter finals semi finals finals the ladies matches all that will be brought to you live it's a ideal place for you to do your advertising as well because most of them will be following these matches Betting by Nushal, just nudging it. Here is the single. Another bowling judge, Han Aniket. The seventh bowler used. And another spinner. So that's 19 gone. 93 for 2. Shall driving it down the ground for a single. Just 39 required from 30.5 overs. Another going at 4.90 per over. not of any issue the required run rate at the moment Lucky not to get a touch there. That one driven past the short extra car fielder. Can't stop that. Four runs.
and after 20 overs ananda 98 for 2 So well, that bowling change has done the trick. Caught by the keeper, did it? And Amita has struck, he needs first over. First delivery. Amita Sandeepa. So quite a lot of bowlers. Come back to that. Nushal Dharmaratha gone for 24 of 37. Got by the Lipti Roshan. Bowl Amit Sandeepa. So quite a lot of uh, bowlers getting a wicket in their first delivery in this match. When Ananda bowled, there were two guys who did that. And then now we see another one here. So we take a short break as it's the water break as well and we'll come back to you ओपे दारुवा जातीय खंड एम न्यूज़ ने करने क्रीड़ा की गुकरान नेट सीन दक्षिण दिमाग पियानी इन्ह आसिया वे विशाल तम क्रीड़ा बांड प्रदर्शन कर रहे बुराले द चांस स्पोर्ट्स विद इन वासरक वागा कीम अधम पियाना कांड द चांस स्पोर्ट्स बुराले The new batsman is Hansa Jai Singh. So he's off the mark in the first uh, delivery phase. Just trapping it to the covers and running. Good response by Netma. This is the last wicket of Nishal Dalmaratna gone for 24 of 37. Just a 34 more, more runs needed. Will there be a few more hiccups? And then he's need to pick up a few more immediately. Just to unsettle the nerves of the Anandan batters to follow. Once they are in, they need to finish it off. Looking for a single, but no run. One 
Once again driven to that packed offside field. The third man, a point, a cover, a short extra, a wideish extra, and a deep uh, long off. And that's the end of our number 21, 99 for 3. Jitan on the college card. One, two, and three all back in the pavilion. For 10, 31, and 24. And Karnath on 14, not out. And the new matchman, Hansa Jaising, has just come to the wicket. He's on one. See a bowling change. Samish Kavish Adolanjana coming on for his second spell. And he caught him in front. So uh, another new. Well, uh, well, this is coming on for his second spell. First delivery. And wrapping him right in front. Had such a. Playing from his crease. Just in two balls. Has to go one for one of two deliveries. So, could this be what they needed? The last four wickets, Kavish Anjolo getting his second wicket. Yudara Chayatilaka, just 18 years old, played three matches and scored 17 runs. That's not a lot of runs to his name in this uh, one day tournament. And when you walk in, not easy. Well, surprising, no slips, no one round the bat. Well, you need quick wickets, and that's how you're going to get it. They need to bring in a close catcher and a slip. Put the batsman under pressure. Antonian captain needs to think fast on his feet. I'm sure he didn't do well with the ball, so... It's very well bowled there again. They've already used eight bowlers in the 22nd over. Well, nothing wrong in that since you're just defending a small total. But you need to bring on your wicket takers now. Gone down on one knee. Shakti Udara does not too far from the man at uh, short mid wicket. In there and managed to get a boundary. So, well, a wicket or two more within the next few overs. I'm sure Ananda going to feel it. Be under pressure. So after 22, 103 for 4.
nicely driven bisecting both extra covers the short one and the one in the circle and two runs the end of over number 23 107 for four Coming out and driving over the top. Just two runs. Almost to 109 now. Around the wicket this time. Letting it go. Making room for himself. And that's another six. Shakti Udara's uh, first six. Moving that front leg away. Hiking it over mid wicket. So it runs coming off this over. Scores more to one fourteen for one fifteen for four. And just eighteen runs away. Sixteen now. Just then, a four number twenty-four, and run sixteen for four. The single in the first uh, ball of the 25th over and on the inching closer back to offside field unable to pierce that gap a cheeky run played on the bounce to the cover fielder but he misfeels and they easily cross over
Sean Aniket, the Chinaman. Falling short of the bowler. Trying to work it on the on. on the off ends up going towards the leg one run on strike the end of another over one twenty one for four Amitha continuing. That's dangerous. That's gone. Straight to the field. I hit it up and got it to the wicket keeper. That's highly unwanted. Shakti Udara has to go back. Run out. Shakti Udara goes for 16 of 21. Run out. So they lost another wicket. Five down. Now Shada is the new batsman. Now Shada Fernando bowled really well. Coming with 12 runs needed. It's probably to finish off. Run out was unwanted. There's no need push for runs like that indecision 
not easy when the new best friend comes in. Got an edge and beats the diving fielder at short third. Ball doesn't go to the boundary. And three runs there. Most importantly, Netma coming on to strike. Mahesh at the, the opening, he's the count. The three good running there. 124, just nine runs away. From reaching the semi final in the tier B. That's the end of over number 27, 124 for 5. See the another college wagon wheel. Nine fours and three sixers in this innings. Never saw any sixers when uh, St. Anthony is batted. Romesh Suranga coming in for the Father Joe Vikramasinghe Pavilion Den. And just needing nine runs for a victory. in there the first one to the third man short third man net but trying to get to strike To take it on the full, not connecting. So five dot balls. There's no hurry at all. But Anand, the best one, don't like to face more than three, four dot balls. And that is a maiden over. Very well bowled by Romesh Suranga. 124 for five after 28.
So Sandeep has one for ten, bowling his fifth. Try and look to pick up another wicket or two. But though it's nine runs, it could be a long way. The wicket keeper going to the wrong end. Should have had a shy at the wicket keeper's end. Uh, had a chance of getting Netma run out. He's the man who is on 20. They can get him. I'm sure still there is some hope. Stopped by that uh, short uh, extra cover fielder. That again coming out and trying to look for a shot. It's been quiet. Previous over also was a maiden. Now five dot balls. Finally, they have got one through. And it goes all the way to the boundary. To the third man and point. So, the pressure is off now. After 29, it's 128 for 5. Ramesh Suranga keeping it tight this is the fight that they needed to give from the start so nicely cut away again in the gap diving third man short third man Diving full stretch to stop it. Keeps it down to one. So one twenty nine now. Run driven by Netma. Straight to the field, but running with the shot. And inching closer. So moves on to one thirty. Just three runs away. Nitna Karnana Ratna has one six and two fours. That six was the first second ball he faced was a free hit. Opened his account with that. So after 30 overs, 130 for 5.
Netmon 25. Would like to finish it off in this over. But there's no hurry. Got 19 overs after this. Taking his time. Sandeepa has bowled well, one for 14. And that's a place he has to avoid. Because if he gets that gap, the ball can run down through covers and extra covers. That's in there, over the head. Coming out and driving and that's it. Another college have reached the semi-finals in the TAB. Division 1 tournament. Winning by 5 wickets. With 19.2 overs to spare. That Makarna Ratna did not out. On 29. Of 54 deliveries and Mauricio the Fernando 4 of 14 at the crease, having bowled very well. Look at the cards. Another college uh, chasing 132 for victory. Another Jaivira 10, Lakshita Kulratna 31, Nushal Dharmaratna 24. Answer Jaisinga 1 and Shakti Udar was run out for 16. Netma Karnaratna not out on 29 with his partner. And here we see the bowling figures. Not much to talk about. Kavisha Lulanjana 2 for 33 and Amita Sandeepa 1 for 18. Three, the two wicket takers. There were two run outs in that innings. You can see the partnerships 33. 38, 27, 1, 22, and 13. So we look at uh, the Ananda College. The way they scored their runs. Started off with a bang. The first 10, 15 overs were going good. Then there was a slight lull period. Losing a few wickets and fi finally ending up without any issues. So here you see another College 11 fours and 3 six for that 134 for 5. Then running out winners by 5 wickets and marching along in to the semi finals. See that worm after the fourth or fifth over another college just separating themselves and climbing without any issue few hiccups on the way but all good so we see the match summary then Anthony is uh, Vatala asked to bat 132 all out in 40 overs wasting 9 10 overs there with Gyan Sasmita 29, Romesh Suranga 26, the two openers and Adil Rahman 26, Saviru Bandara 3 for 28, the pick of the bowlers Mahusha the Fernando 3 for 19 and Isuru Ayesh 2 for 30, Ananda College 134 for 5, Lakshita Kalaratna 31, Nitma Karnaratna 29 not out and Nushal Dharmaratna 24, Ananda won by 5 wickets in this TAB and qualified to the semi-finals. We'll see you tomorrow once again with the other two matches, the two quarterfinals. Until then, see you. Goodbye.
ඔබේ දරුවා ජාතික කණ්ඩායම නියෝජනය කරන ක්‍රීඩකයෙකු කරන්නට සිහින දකින්න තිබෝ පියනි එන්න ආසියාවේ විශාලතම ක්‍රීඩා බාණ්ඩ ප්‍රදර්ශනාගාරය බොරැල්ලේ the chance sports within වසරක වගකීම අදම පියන ගන්න the chance sports බොරැල්ල